Hey everybody, welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd show you how to create an HDR image using Adobe Lightroom Classic. So the first thing we're gonna do is navigate to the folder where we have our images. In this case, we have three images. One is normal exposure, one is three stops under, and one is three stops over. Um, you just need bracketed images to create an HDR image, so you can have uh, more than three images if you want, uh, but the more images you have, the more likely you are to get some sort of artifact from combining the images, because each image is taken a fraction of a second after the other image when you're bracketing. You can also use your camera's um, automatic um, exposure bracketing so that it will go ahead and shoot off multiple uh, photos for you so you don't have to manually bracket. Uh, the other thing to be aware of is you, you want to probably use a tripod if you can. If you're not using a tripod, you need to hold as still as possible so that the images line up, or th they're easier to line up at least. So we're going to select these three images first off, and then we're going to click on one of them and go to Photo Merge HDR. So it gives you a little preview here of the uh, three images together. Uh, you want to make sure auto aligns on and I leave auto settings on as well. Now, usually with HDR programs, I recommend using deghost, but there have been problems with deghosting using uh, Adobe Lightroom. And I think it may depend on drivers or video cards or machines. Uh, there are a few different problems that have been reported. So you can try deghosting, but if you have problems, you just select none. My computer has some problems with noise with this process. And uh, so I'm going to just go with none. Now, if you're doing HDR using Photoshop, there are actually no problems with um, noise and deghosting that I'm aware of. I, I don't. I certainly don't have any. So in Photoshop, I would recommend putting the deghosting on. All right, so we're going to click here and we're going to go merge. And it runs the task. You can see right up in the corner up here, um, Lightroom always tells you uh, what it's doing and how long it's going to take to complete the operation. So it's completed it and it's created a, uh, a new image here. And the image is a, a DNG file and it, it uses the name of the first file and it uh, appends uh, HDR to it so that's how it gets the name of the file and it just puts it in the same folder um, that the photos you generated the image from are. So if we uh, double click on this to bring it up to full size you can see where it is or what it looks like then we can go to develop now it's merged the information from three different files so we should have shadow highlight and um, the, the normal exposure all merged into one to give us better shadow and highlight details. But from here we can change the exposure so we can increase or decrease the exposure. And then we can also, uh, we can increase or decrease highlights and we can uh, bring up shadow detail here if we want. So we can, we can do it however we want to do it. And so we can adjust it in Lightroom and uh, we can, uh, save it as a DNG or we can uh, export it to another form format and use another photo editor to um, edit it or we can re-edit it later if we want. So that's how you create an HDR image using uh, Adobe Lightroom. This has been Photo Blue and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like.